Greetings, everybody. Welcome to the channel. Howling Elf, your host, Elf Siri. Today, we're continuing Spooktober with a game called The Crooked Man. As you can see from the title, uh, it's a horror game. But it's one of those uh, Japanese 2D horror games, which is pretty cool. It's an English version, so y'all can read it, no problem. I, I'll read the titles and everything with you. But let's see how creepy this is. Let's go ahead and get started. If you like this series at any part you want me to continue, make sure you leave this video a like. It lets me and YouTube know you enjoy the content. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Always happy to have new wolves. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. Okay. It's not a mouse game, so... Let's see. This horror game, it contains scares and gruesome content. So refrain from playing it if you feel like you can't handle it. Mm -mm. Please adhere to the following rules to prevent trouble. If these rules are a conflict with the rules on the author's site, the rules on the site will be, take priority. Please check. No repurposing sources. Yeah. No recipes in the game files. Do not cut the credits from the video game. Okay, so I have to do the end credits. Check the author's site for more information. Okay, cool. We got it. Basically saying don't, don't copyright it. <sighs> there was a crooked man and he, wo he walked the crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon the crooked stile. I can't read, apparently. <laughs> he bought a crooked cat. Which caught a crooked mouse. And they all live together in a crooked little house. Aww. That almost seems sad. Or Paul? Okay. Whew. Finally, things look tidy in here. That should. Oh. <clears throat> that should be that. Is there anything else we can help you with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry to make you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Oh, nice. Three of us could go drinking. I look forward to it all. I look forward to it already. Well, it's late. We better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. Okay, so we're David. Cool. Okay, a sink, a sink, fridge, cupboards, uh, an old TV. Is there anything I need to look at? Huh? Jeez, David forgot his license. I should give it to him if he's still around. All right, so a box of tissue, shoes, a phone, an empty trash can. A crack in the wall. Cool. Oh, and I'm in bed. Paul. What's with this place? Seriously. It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What are you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace. And that will not help him. You hear? What? Is that Paul and what's her face? Fighting? Look. What can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know? And not many places come with furniture. Besides, you told me to look for a place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look. I should be sorry. We'll pay him a visit sometime. Interesting. The license can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. What? Where's the, where's the phone? Hello? Hello? Who is this? Shirley? Okay. I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in a new place. Go to bed. Go to bed, David. Man, I'm tired in all sorts of ways. Go to bed, David. If you're tired, go to bed. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, really? Is somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of the neighbors? I should go ask. Dave is so caring. Wait, is these neighbors? Oh, that's more of my room! Hold on, crying person. Drawer or something in them. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for everything. I know these kinds of games. I need to make sure I have... I know exactly where everything is. Okay. Okay, more... Get in, Dad. Okay. Wash machine. Wash bin. I don't need to go. It's a toilet. Tub. Okay. We're good. Knocking gets no response. No response. No response. Oh. Yes? Who is it at this hour? Pardon me. It's just... I can hear you from my room, even. Even? Okay. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you saying? I was sleeping until you woke me up. You trying to start something? Oh, she won't fight. You're the guy who moved into 204, right? There's no way you could hear me from here. From there. Uh, I guess so. Sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever. I better get back to sleep. Yeah, David. Causing a racket. What is that noise? Is it the sink? Oh, it's busted. I just, like, barely heard what he was saying. It went so fast. Hmm? Under- oh. Under the bed? Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about a bad taste. We ain't going to bed, David. Mm-mm. You gonna play- you gonna go and be a streamer all night. You're a late night streamer now. <laughs> oh, I don't wanna look. Oh, you're not gonna really, like, try? Under the bed, huh? What's down here? I would not look. <laughs> I would not look. I'd rather die in my sleep. Just go to sleep, have the monster come out, eat me, you know. Mmm. Nope. Hmm? Found something. Is this... Found a scrap from a notebook. What the heck is that? Ever since she went away, I spent every night clutching... My sweaty pillow with writhing, writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former attendant leave this? Uh, whatever. I'll get to bed. Hmm. <laughs> All right, David. I mean, that. What you want to do is what you want to do. That sounds still. Where is that coming from? Give me a break. I need to sleep. I agree, David. I agree. Oh my goodness. Really? Hello? Uh, yeah. Thanks for all the... No, I didn't mean... Just... I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Who was that? Man, I slept into noon. Oh, okay. He this is the next day. It's not still night. I better go. So much taking it so much for taking it easy. Alright. Oh gosh, hi. Paul, what is it? Y yeah, uh I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh yeah, this. Sorry, I was gonna bring it to you, but... Phew, thanks. So, you're going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital? I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. 
Oh, yeah. Paul, did you write something in the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the mirror? What kind of pranks or kid do you take me for, David? So sorry. I, I didn't mean it like that. Anyways, I'm off. Okay. I need no need to go in here. No, I can't stand you. I know you're there. This is ridiculous. I like heard voices. While I was walking, that was weird. That's why I kept stopping. Mom, it's been a while. Are you okay? Oh, my. If it isn't little Timmy, you've certainly grown. Good. You look healthy. Sorry, I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, and I moved into this great room with furniture and everything. I just need your favorite... I, it's near your favorite cake shop, too. So when you get better, we can live there together. Aw. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me, so... Maybe I can come visit you sometime. Would you like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David, remember? Oh, yes. They opened the bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy it from there. Oh, don't tell me. Does she have, like, Alzheimer's? Mom? That's so sad. People like that. Oh. Would you be... Why are you here? How'd you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something, will you? Ma Ma Get out! Or I'll have you thrown out! Somebody! Somebody! This strange man's in my room! Get rid of him now! Jeez. Miss Hoover. Miss Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Away! Now, now, calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. We'll have... You'll have to leave for today. You called me to come up here. Understood. Take care of her. Dang, that's sad. Davy, Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? M Mom? Your flight school exam is coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mom, it's me, remember? Mom! David, please leave for today. She's very confused right now. But, but she said my... I said leave. Gee. Miss Hoover, please calm down. Bring the sedatives. Oh, hey, doctor. Oh, he is a doctor. Cool. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah, she doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgotten many things. And she's, le and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I asked you to be a patient. I asked... I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can leave with her again. Thanks. I hope she can help her. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go back to my room. What was that noise? Wow. 
What? No reason to go out. The bathtub. Okay, where's that noise? That noise obviously came from somewhere. The chair moved. Oh. Did I move that chair? Hmm. There's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet from a school? It's like a brochure. Looks pretty old. Hmm. These LLM curtains. Courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former attendant. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Okay. I like how we go down, but we're like on the side. Oh my goodness. Hello. Hey, David. How are you doing? <laughs> You saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you ever get, call if you're ever lonely, okay? I can come visit with Paul. By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but sorry. I told her to your number. She said she was worried about you. It's okay. Tell her don't need to worry. She should just look out for herself. All right. Well, I'll hang up now. All right. See ya. They got some short conversations, I swear. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. All right. Go to bed. Oh. Oh, this is worries me. Am I going to see a face? What? Why did this turn on by itself? Is it broken? Sink? Ah! What the hell? Is that creep? This is creepy. Did the, the, the say sink? What is that? So the ghost is writing messages. Is that not the sink? Alright, well, whatever. That sink, though. Hmm? It's a cr there's a scrap of paper under here. Hey, you got scrap paper. More reading! <laughs> there was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He brought he bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a crooked little house. Beautiful. Ten out of ten. Isn't that a mother goose rhyme? Why is this here under the sink? I guess a previous tendon? So much strange stuff. I should get to sleep and forget about it. Alright, David. I mean, this is up to you. Moving for a strange pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marine's help, though. I mean, it's always weird in a new place, regardless if it's, you know, creepy or haunted or whatever. Is that a kid I hear? This late at night? And what the kid would leave in this beat up apartment? Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. He's so nice, man. Of course there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. What? Whoa, what happened? Oh, my cup! My solo cup! 
just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. But how did it fall? Wait, wait, what? Help me. The coffee's falling out. You gotta be. This room is really, really strange. With its voices and the TV turning on. What is this? Dude, someone's calling for help, bro. Mm. Uh, hi, Paul. It's David. Hey, what's up? Man, you sure sound sleepy. <laughs> yeah, um, I was up all last night. I gotta ask you something now, okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Uh, don't know. Ask the landlady. You curious about something? Well, it seems like he forgot a lot of stuff. But I'll ask the landlady, sure, later. He's so abrupt to leave. Oh my gosh. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. Go! They're like conversations are like, like two seconds. Just hangs up immediately. Another crack on the wall. What's in here? Nothing. Oh, let's go out. Okay. Hello! Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask you something, you see? About the room I'm in, can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Mm, well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe it was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it however so you wouldn't know where he went I never heard that no okay I really just up and left out of the blue he probably got scared and was like get the frick out of here um I just can't remember that name I couldn't rummage through the documents to find the previous tenant if you like no, no, no need. I was just curious. Thanks. I'll see you around. Alrighty. Sorry it wasn't very helpful or useful. Same difference. Dang. A man about my age. I can only wonder what he's like. Oh, well. I'll get back to my room. <laughs> Dude, he's so like... Yep, bye. Oh, what is that? I don't want... I don't want... I knew that crack was there for some reason. Why are these tracks on the floor leading up to this wall? Is this something in this crack? Got a brace key. Oh. Brass. I know how to say it. I, just, I don't know why I said it like that. This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here. So I wonder where. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I'm doing the same thing he's doing. Hmm. The guy's voice, the kid's voices, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. Uh, it's like a poltergeist or something. But I would have thought the landlady would have mentioned this kind of thing. What's going on? They're supposed to actually mention if someone died or is haunted. But they always take that out because they want to sell, you know, promote where they are. So they will hide it, but you, you have the right to ask. But I would have thought the landlady would have been, yeah. David, you don't even know. No, not that I, I my, what, what the, my brain. <laughs> my brain just had a meltdown. <laughs> not that I'd much care if there were ghosts here. Nobody's too bothered by a haunting or they, if they haunted and killed me either. All right, David. But I wonder about the scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? Not too much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. Dang, these days are like going fast. 
my gosh, I think I've already like spent like four days here. What? Why? Where is that coming from? Is it from inside my house? Uh, TV electronic? My old computer. Nope. Phone? Phone can make that noise. TV? I don't, I don't, old cupboards. I don't think any of this will make noise, so let's go back. Let's go back to my electronics. You sure it's not the computer? I know it's coming from the room, but I don't know where. Wash machine? What would make that noise? Oh, okay. Oh. Aha, it's coming from here. Radio? That, what's, why is this on my, radio? What? Why is this in my closet? Not to mention it turning on by itself. I don't like that, it's just full of shit. Like I can't see inside. <laughs> like the darkness to Narnia or something. Hmm. There's something in the paper here. It's an address. The ghost helping me? Our special place. That's where it's supposed to be. Or where is that supposed to be? Alright. Going to bed. Good night. Oh! I'm waiting for you? What? I'm waiting for you? What? Why did? How? When did it? Uh, what? Yeah, I would. I would run too. I would have ran like the first like two incidents of like ghost. So, did you sleep well last night? Sorry, you had to sleep on the couch. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. <laughs> Wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the newlyweds love nest. Oh, okay. So they're, okay, I get it. They're married. That's why, okay. Sounds good. But, um, why didn't he just tell him? Hey, why are you, <laughs> just kidding. Seriously, though, you can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can to help can hand for you. Alright, I'm glad to know a guy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you making fun of me? No, that was a compliment. <laughs> oh, yeah. I heard from Marianne. Marianne? Is that her name? Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marianne's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, all right? I know you got your mother to look after, but I think it's time you move on and let new people look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. I'm just some clerk with my mom in the hospital, and my mom wanted to marry you and ran for me. Man. Don't be such a sissy. You keep up that mop moping and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. <laughs> well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm going on a little trip. Don't waste my vacation. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know. Oh, that's a great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send a postcard. Nah. But actually don't not but don't actually what breakfast is ready Paul David will you be eating too no I'm not hungry I'll be going oh that's too bad come by anytime you like man it doesn't eat there 
Looks like this address is in the mountains. About five hour drive. Well, it's not too bad. Did the former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. <sighs> I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyways. I hope this place is... Oh, that's, that's the prologue. David's room. I guess it's in chapters then. Interesting. This is a creepy house. Jeez, it got dark. But this place is no doubt. Huge place. It's like a hotel. Where he be would he be here? Guess I'll just have to ask. Or I guess I'll just have to check. Alright everybody, I think this is a good ending point since this is a prologue, probably in chapters. So, I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, leave this video a thumbs up. Let me to know you enjoy the content. And subscribe to the wolf pack. Always have to have new wolves. I believe once I step in this this place, things are going to get creepy. Because, <laughs> who's, who's ghost or the crooked man, maybe, is sending me to my death. So, I hope you enjoy your day. Happy Spooktober month. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.